Good day. We are carrying on with Dalton half reactions. These are the more complicated variety. We're using major OH minus as our guide. And we're doing C and D. So remember you can copy these out. And so we start off. They put a 1 in there. They didn't need to. It's AG2O becomes AG. We can see our major atom, silver, is imbalanced. So we put a 2 in there. Now the silvers are balanced. Bouncing oxygens by adding water. We add one water molecule to the right. Now the O's are balanced. We're going to add H pluses on the left, two of them, to cancel out those. And now we have to deal with the charge. So here we have a charge of two plus to the left, nothing from the silver oxide. Two plus there. No charge at all on the right. So we've got to bring the charge on the left down from two plus down to zero. And that's going to take two electrons on the left. So that's our balanced half reaction. You should always check two AGs became two AGs, one O became one O, two H's became two H's, and we have no overall charge on the left and no overall charge on the right. So they're balanced. We can see electrons on the left of the arrow, and so we're looking at reduction, and now it's time to add hydroxide, because we've got to have to make a basic. Well, this is a balanced equation. It's a half reaction. We don't want to throw it out of balance. So the number of moles of OH minus we add on the left, we have to add the same amount on the right. We can see we had two H pluses here, so we have to add two OH minuses there, and we added two OH minuses to the right. Now the H plus and OH minus want to get together to make water. And since we have two of each, they make two waters. So the boom and boom become bam, two H2O is just like that. But we have to simplify. This is not a correct answer yet because we have two waters there, one water there. Typically, if I had a chalkboard or whiteboard, I'd cross out the two, leave behind one water there, and I'd cross out the H2O there. And I would arrive at this reaction. Again, I should check that it's balanced. And I reminded you earlier it's reduction because electrons are left the arrow. So it gets fairly complicated when you have to add OH minus, but if you take one step, at a time, no problem. So let's take a look down here. Nitrate becoming nitrous acid. In this case, nitrate, on your table of complex science, nitrous acid, you should remember from grade 10, but if you forgot, at the back of your textbook, there's a page of acids, and you would be able to see what that is. So there's our nitrate, there's our nitrous acid. The nitrogens are balanced, so we're gonna head to the oxygen and balance the oxygens. Needed one molecule of water to up our amount of oxygen by one. And you say, oh, 3H plus, that's interesting. Well, we had 1H and 2H, that's why we have to have 3Hs on both sides. Charge in the right is zero. Charge in the left is plus two. So we gotta bring that charge down. And we do it by adding two electrons. And we end up with our reduction half reaction. So we love it in acid because we don't have to go through those extra steps. Hopefully C and D are making sense and we're going to move on to E and F in the next video.